hey guys welcome to geo mutsuku in today's video we are revising the topic of high pressure cells and low pressure cells before we go there we need to understand what is pressure now pressure refers to force exerted on a surface force exerted on a surface now my high pressure cell and my low pressure cell form as a result of the unequal heating of the atmosphere we know that some places on earth such as the equator receive direct sunlight they receive direct sunlight hence we have more warm moist air which rises there when the air is rising it exerts less pressure or less force on the surface hence we have a low pressure when air rises but towards our poles we are receiving indirect sunlight hence we have uh, cold dry air which sinks which sinks now when the air sinks is going to exert more force or more pressure on the surface hence we'll have a high pressure so our low pressure is associated with rising in but our high pressure is associated with sinking or subsiding in so our high pressure and our low pressure forms as a result of the unequal heating of the atmosphere okay now let's go to our topic of the high pressure and the low pressure let's start with our high pressure uh, let's do our diagram here we have the high pressure and then we have isopars and isopar readings also have arrows now let's analyze what's happening here uh, if you look at my high pressure cells you will see that there are arrows which are moving away from it these arrows uh, represent the movement of the wind the wind or the air is diverging it is diverging where there is a high pressure the air diverges or it moves away hence my arrows are going away from the high pressure and if you look at the direction of these winds look at the air circulation it is anti-clockwise so for high pressure the air circulation is anti-clockwise look at these arrows anti-clockwise for a high pressure, the air circulation is anti-clockwise and the air is diverging. It is moving away from the high pressure. Now let's go to a low pressure and compare. The low pressure, look at the arrows. These arrows are pointing towards the low pressure because when there's a low pressure, the air converges. It comes together. Look at my arrows. They are pointing towards the center. But in this diagram they are pointing away from the high pressure because here the air diverges and for my low pressure it converges now let's look at the air circulation here the air circulation for my low pressure look at this arrow it is clockwise it is clockwise but the air circulation for my high pressure is anti-clockwise it is anti-clockwise uh, another thing that I want us to look at is the isobar values. Remember, these lines are isobars, lines joining places of equal pressure. The isobar values for my high pressure, they are increasing towards the center. This is 1028 millibars, this is 1080 millibars, so they are increasing towards the center. When the isobar values are increasing towards the center, then that is a high pressure cell. But if the isobar values are decreasing towards the center, that's a low pressure cell. This was 1,080, 1,028, so it is decreasing towards the center. Therefore, it is a low pressure cell. We can ask you this question on a synoptic weather map. Why is this a low pressure? The answer is the isobar values are decreasing towards the center. We can ask you, why is this a high pressure? We will tell them because the isobar values are now increasing towards the center so look at the isobar values look at my air circulation and look at whether the winds are converging or diverging now as i demonstrated in the beginning a high pressure is associated with sinking air or air that's subsiding is going down but my low pressure is associated with rising or ascending air so where there's a high pressure the air is sinking it is going down hence there is more force exerted on the surface 
but where there is a low pressure, the air is rising. The air is rising. Now, if my air sinks, it means that on this side, there will be clear conditions, less rainfall. Because in order for rainfall to occur, we need more convection. We need more warm air to rise to form our clouds and therefore rainfall. Now, on my low pressure cell, the air is rising. The warm moist air is doing what? It is rising. And as the air rises, it is going to cool and condense to form my clouds. And clouds will bring about precipitation, right? So our low pressure cell will bring about more precipitation because uh, warm moist air rises, cools and condenses to form clouds. Clouds will bring about the precipitation. But if you look at my high pressure cell, the air is sinking. It is sinking. So when there's a high pressure cell, there is less rainfall. There's clear conditions, clear skies. But when there's a low pressure cell, there's more precipitation, more clouds because of the air, sorry, because of the warm air which is rising. My high pressure cell is also known as anti an anticyclone. My low pressure cell is also known as a cyclone. Now the anticyclones, there's three of them. Uh, we have our South Atlantic High. Let me just throw South Africa here so I can show you guys. This is South Africa. On the west, we have the Atlantic Ocean. So on this side, we have the South Atlantic. Atlantic Anticyclone or South Atlantic High. On the east, we have the South Indian Anticyclone or the South Indian High. Then on the interior, we have the Kalahari, Kalahari High or the Kalahari Anticyclone. Remember, our high pressure cell is also known as an anticyclone. Now, these are our anticyclones the South Atlantic Anticyclone in the west. And then on the east, we have the South Indian Anticyclone. On the interior, we have the Kalahari High Pressure Cell or the Kalahari Anticyclone. Now, my low pressure cell is also known as a cyclone. Also known as a cyclone. We have two cyclones which are covered in metric. Uh, number one is the mid latitude cyclone cyclone which occurs between 30 degrees to 60 degrees driven by the westerlies number two we have the tropical cyclone which is found between 5 degrees to 30 degrees north south this one is driven by our tropical easterlies uh, another low pressure cell is the thermal low is the thermal thermal low or the heat low in my next video, I'll be covering the mid-latitude cyclone. The mid-latitude cyclone. Remember, this is a low-pressure cell. It is a low-pressure cell. Okay, so for our high-pressure cell, one more time, high-pressure cell, the air circulation is anti-clockwise. For our low-pressure cell, the air circulation is clockwise. For our high-pressure cell, the ISO bar values increase towards the center. But for our low pressure cell, the ISO bar values decrease towards the center. They decrease towards the center.